It is day two of NFL free agency, and the Steelers haven't really made any moves other than announcing that they're going to sign Russell Wilson, and then they signed a punter yesterday. But what moves could they still make? They, we know that the Steelers have quite a few needs that they need to fill on this roster, and I have a feeling GM Omar Khan is finally going to wake up today, and he's going to make some signings today. I'm going to be breaking down the top NFL free agency targets for the Steelers heading into day two that are still available. Uh, now, you know, a quick warning here. You know, By the time you see this, some of these guys might have already been signed. Uh, so just a fair warning here. Things are fluid with NFL free agency. But before we get into today's show, make sure you guys click that subscribe button right now because if the Steelers make a signing today, we are going to give you guys a breaking news video. And if it's a big enough move, like if you trade for Legereus Sneed or maybe if you sign Bobby Wagner, we might even be going live this afternoon. So make sure you guys click that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so you never miss any breaking news action from us here at Steelers Talk. So let's start with the positions of need that the Steelers need to be looking out for here. You need to get a center, you need to get an outside corner, maybe a couple of them actually. You need a slot corner, you need a new strong safety, you need a new inside linebacker, and you could use a third wide receiver or even a number two receiver if you end up trading Deontay Johnson. So let's start with the center position here. And there's really, I mean, there's a lot of centers that got taken yesterday, man. There's Aaron Brewer and, and, all, and Tyler Biotish and all these guys that they were thinking about potentially adding are no longer available. So the top three names that are still available are Connor Williams, who's coming off a major injury, but he was the number one graded center in the National Football League last year with the Miami Dolphins. Coleman Shelton, who had a pretty decent season. He was the 17th highest graded center in the NFL last year with the Los Angeles Rams and played in a similar system to what Arthur Smith is going to be running here in Pittsburgh. And then Evan Brown from the Seattle Seahawks. For me, guys, the person that I would sign is Coleman Shelton. He's not necessarily good enough to be like a bona fide starter in this league where you're not going to consider taking his replacement in the draft, but he is good enough as a stopgap. I'd probably sign him to a one or a two-year contract. And then I think no matter what at this point, I really do think that the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to be drafting a center, whether that be in like the first round with a Jackson Powers Johnson or in the second round like with like a Cedric Van Pran or a Zach Frazier or a Graham Barton, something along those lines. I do think within the first two rounds, you can probably expect the Pittsburgh Steelers to get a center early in the 2024 NFL draft. Now let's move over to the cornerback position here. And there's still some pretty darn good names out there. Stephon Gilmore is a really good one-on-one -on -one press man corner. Uh, played in Dan Quinn's uh, man-heavy system there in Dallas last year. Could be a really good one-year rental to put on the other side of Joey Porter Jr. Ken uh, Kenny Moore is a really probably the best slot guy still available on the open market. Kendall Fuller, Adore Jackson, Xavier uh, How Xavier Howard, Darius Williams actually got signed by the Los Angeles Rams. We made this graphic before uh, before uh, uh, before he ended up signing. Rock Yassin is another guy that could be in play. And then Christian Fulton, a guy that the Steelers had a lot of interest in when he was coming out of the draft several seasons ago. He could be an option on the other side of Joey Porter Jr. as well. But what I would do, guys, and the other possibility that could be in play here is that the Steelers could make a trade for Legereus Sneed, who, of course, is on the trade block uh, after a uh, trade block after the Kansas City Chiefs uh, franchise tagged him earlier this offseason. And what I think the trade could look like here, because the Chiefs need a wide receiver, right? They were targeting Darnell Mooney. He signed with the Atlanta Falcons today. Well, I mean, you know who's kind of similar to Darnell Mooney? Deontay Johnson. In fact, I think he's an even better version of Darnell Mooney. So the Chiefs can get Deontay and an additional fourth round pick. The Steelers have two of them this year, so they have kind of one to give away in a trade if they choose to. And you can get Legereus Sneed, uh, and you can probably sign him to an extension. You can lock up Legereus Sneed and Joey Porter Jr., two extremely aggressive physical corners on the outside. And th this defense can impose its will on opposing offenses if you have Legereus Jarius Sneed as one of your corners here in Pittsburgh for the long haul. So this is something I would definitely do. Let me know what you guys would do down there in the comments section. Type A if you would accept this trade or type D if you're going to decline. This is going to be the pinned comment on today's show. So YouTube's going to throw you an ad break here in just a couple of seconds. When that happens, take advantage of that time by answering today's pinned question and let me know if you would want Legarius Sneed. All right, now let's start, uh, or let's go get back into it here with inside linebackers that are available. There's some really good uh, linebackers in this year's free agency group that I still think the Steelers are considering. Bobby Wagner, one of Russell Wilson's best friends, 
10 times straight all pro Super Bowl champion still available. Will he take a discount to come here to the Pittsburgh Steelers? I think there's a chance. And if you miss out on Bobby Wagner, Levante David, another guy that has been a super, super high uh, performing linebacker in the league for a very long time, also a Super Bowl champion. Jerome Baker has been linked to the Steelers in recent days. Uh, Patrick Queen is still available, but I think he might be too expensive. Then you got Devin White, Josie Jewell, Willie Gay is also a guy that has been linked to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, Terrell Dodson, the number one graded inside linebacker in football last year is still available. Nicholas Morrow, Shaq Leonard, Isaiah Simmons might be a good fit for the Steelers here with Mike Tomlin and then Denzel Perriman. All these guys are still available, so I absolutely think that the Steelers are going to be getting another inside linebacker and they might be getting the deal done today. So the guy that I would sign is Bobby Wagner, all right? He has that Russell Wilson connection. Russ might be getting them on the phone right now and saying, hey, Bobby, Come on, baby. We won a Super Bowl in Seattle. You can come here and play for Mike Tomlin, one of the best defensive coaches of all time, and you get to play with T.J. Watt and Alex Highsmith and Cam Hayward and Joey Porter Jr. and Minka Fitzpatrick and Alandon Roberts as well as the other linebacker in this unit. I think Bobby Wagner on a one-year deal is exactly what the Pittsburgh Steelers defense could use. He's a great locker room presence. He's still playing at an all-pro level, and I think that he takes the Steelers defense to an even higher level, and I think that he at the, he's at the point in his career where he wants to win, so he's probably take a lower contract figure. He's already made his money to come to the Pittsburgh Steelers and try to win another Super Bowl. So like today's video, if you are a real one, you watch all of our videos, you constantly check our channel for any breaking news updates, I really do appreciate all of your support, and if you want to help that make this video the best it can possibly be, make sure you click that thumbs up icon and tell the YouTube algorithm to push this out to other Steelers fans like yourselves. Then there's a lot of safeties on the open market as well. I mean, Justin Simmons is still available. Jordan Poyer is still out there. Cameron Curl is still available. Julian Blackman, who, who's actually my favorite fit here for the Steelers, is still out there. Uh, we actually have Jordan Poyer on there twice for some reason. Uh, but we got Jordan Whitehead, really good player. Uh, C.J. Gardner-Johnson, Deshaun Elliott. All these guys are bigger, strong safety types that could absolutely fit with what the Steelers are looking for in terms of their second safety to put on the other side of Minka Fitzpatrick. And then some other options. Tayshawn Gibson, uh, Mike Edwards, Jeremy Chin, Micah, Micah Hyde, J. Ron Curse, Eddie Jackson, John Johnson III, and Terrell Edmonds. All of these guys have been starters in the recent past in the National Football League. And all these guys, or, or most of these guys, can play strong safety, which is what the Steelers are looking for. Do you want Micah Fitzpatrick to be a roamer in the middle of the defense at free safety? Because that's where he's best. That's where he gets the interceptions. And he can play strong safety, but I really think you want Minka playing that free safety spot so expect the Steelers to take a bigger strong safety or two here so that Minka can do what he does best and that's fuck shit up all right so now the guys the people that I would sign is Julian Blackman because I don't think he's going to be that expensive maybe like a seven or eight million dollar per year contract as opposed to these 15 million dollar contracts that we've been seeing uh, over the last couple of hours and then also Jeremy Chen because he's had two down years in Carolina but it was because uh, Ajiro Evero, a Vic Fangio type defensive coordinator and defensive mind was trying to put Jeremy Chin like a true box safety into like a cover four, cover six, playing back, playing a man match coverage. And that's not Jeremy Chin's game. He was one of the best strong safeties in football. Uh, he was almost like a hybrid linebacker slash strong safety uh, in his glory days there in Carolina. I think he could fill that hybrid safety linebacker role extremely well here in Pittsburgh, so I'd like to see him be added as well. And then when it comes to the wide receiver position, Tyler Boyd is still out there, Pitt, uh, Pitt Panther, Pittsburgh native. I mean, he wants to play for the Pittsburgh Steelers at some point in his career. I would expect Tyler Boyd to be in play sometime today. And then somebody to watch out for if they lose out on Tyler Boyd is Odell Beckham Jr. All right, he He's coming from Baltimore from last year. Might want to play his former team twice. And he's really good friends with Russell Wilson. Russ might be like, hey, OBJ, come to Pittsburgh and let's win a title together. I could absolutely see that. Our software here uh, put the Bengals Michael Thomas in there. Not the Saints Michael Thomas for some reason, but that's the Saints version, not the Bengals version. Josh Reynolds is also out there. Nick Westbrook, Akine. Noah Brown actually just signed with the Houston Texans, so he is no longer available either. Then you get Cedric Wilson still out there and Mac Collins, who is a bigger receiver that played for Arthur Smith down there in Atlanta 
last year. So the person that I would sign is Tyler Boyd with maybe Odell Beckham Jr. as a second option. Odell actually had a pretty decent season last year with the Baltimore Ravens. I'm not going to say he's the old OBJ of old, but as a number two option, I mean, I wouldn't hate that whatsoever. But personally, guys, I love Tyler Boyd. He's a Pittsburgh native. You know he's going to really fight like hell to bring this team a championship with Russell Wilson as his quarterback. He's a good fit in Arthur Smith's system. If Omar Khan can get Tyler Boyd locked up today, I would be one happy man. So who's your guy? Let me know down there in the comments section which NFL free agent should the Pittsburgh Steelers sign next. All right, so they signed Cameron Johnson, the punter, as their first move uh, uh, during the legal tampering period. They agreed to terms with Russell Wilson two days ago. What's next for the Pittsburgh Steelers? Let me know down there in the comments section what you think the Steelers should do today. That'll be it for today's show, guys. Thank you so much for all of your support. Make sure you guys click that subscribe button right now for breaking news coverage all throughout NFL free agency. I have a feeling that this is the day Omar Khan is going to start getting busy. Last year, the Steelers made a bulk of their bigger signings on day two, so this seems like Omar Khan's kind of day, so make sure you click that subscribe button because we're going to have breaking news coverage for you guys all throughout 2024 NFL free agency.